Welcome back, welcome back, what's going on, what's going on, good people, YouTube, welcome back to our Classy Academy, how we, how is everybody doing tonight, big shout outs, first shout out to our confident, intelligent, assertive, and respectable man, and also shout out to our beautiful, feminine, friendly, and inspirational ladies, as promised, tonight, I'm bringing you part 2, how to cultivate yourself as a gentleman, Part 2. Yep. You heard me right. We are back. Part 2. So, gentlemen. Make notes. Make sure you make notes so you can remember the steps. How to become proper gentlemen. Or are you not one? So, to begin with. Number 1. You have to keep your word and never lie. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. So, do you think that it's appropriate for a gentleman to say the empty words and, uh, or even better, is it appropriate for a gentleman to make false promises and never keep the word? What do you think? For any comments about this and answers, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Now. To continue, keep your word and never lie. So, gentlemen, unfortunately, if you want to call yourself a gentleman and cultivate yourself as one, you have to keep your word and never lie. So, the first part, gentlemen, if you make a promise or if you make a promise to do something for a for person to help out, for example, to help your friend, your co worker, Whatever the case is, you just have to keep your promise. You just have to keep your promise. So, my advice, do not make promises you cannot keep. That's a fact. Simple as that. If you think that you cannot fulfill your promise or deliver what you, you gave your word to, you're going to deliver it for it, that's not it. Don't, don't do it because it's going to hurt your image. Which is that which you are, I'm sure you are building for a long time, and you're putting a great effort into it. I need to build it, but to maintain it. So, gentlemen, keep your word. Keep your word, uh, because keeping the word is gentleman. Is what a classy man or gentleman does. Next, gentlemen, about lies. Well. We just need we just need to shoot the lies out the window. That's a fact. No lies allowed. So, why is this important, gentlemen? Well, we know that our Western our social media today is feeding us with all kinds of stuff, right? And especially the ad advertisements for some beautiful, some uh, extremely good products, expensive products are supposed to be a good quality and uh, provide a get great value to us but unfortunately once we, once we spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars for to, to acquire the product what happens this product does just simply does not deliver the value so gentlemen bottom line if you give if you give your word to do to do something make a promise you need to keep it. Fulfill your promise. If you make a word for it, keep it. And don't lie, gentlemen. Because that's one of the many rules of proper classy man or a gentleman. Next, have confidence. Well, that is a big one, isn't it? Mm. So, we know that since our, since our growing up, we try lots and lots of times to do many many things and sometimes some things were a little bit silly but this is just the way it is you know and it's a, it's a fact that we men actually we humans and more, to be more specific us men 
and uh, starting from t our teenage years, we we learn through doing some stuff. I know, I know. Sometimes our some stuff we do is silly, stupid, out of the line, or doesn't get the results we hope for, or it's a bit delusional because we have, don't have a knowledge, experience, or skill. That's life. So, gentlemen, no matter how much, how many times you fail in life. Do not lose your confidence, all right? Do not lose your confidence. You need to stay confident. I said confident, not arrogant, gentlemen. Confident, not arrogant, because these are two big differences. And why is it important to have a confidence? Because what is more attractive to, to others, especially to our classy ladies over there, than well-groomed gentlemen, a gentleman who is not only a, who is groomed, who is well mannered, has a kind of conduct, knows stuff, has his worth in 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 a society, people love him, or respect him. You don't have to love you, but if the people respect you, that's a good thing. That's a big step. And if you're confident enough, if you're confident at the same time, then you win. Then you are really win situation. You know, that's a win-win. So, gentlemen, if you find that in some aspect of your life you lack confidence or self-esteem or self-respect to that matter, first step for you, gentlemen, is to go for therapy, apply for the therapy, go for it, because it is going to help you a lot. Because Why? Well, let's just say that life isn't, isn't pretty for us. Nope. Life isn't pretty. And we also know, as a fact, that life towards us as men is even more brutal. It's even more brutal. Why? Because basically, we start from nothing. We start from zero. And our world in society is being built through years. We are not born with, with value, like ladies. So, gentlemen, Nurture yourself properly. If you feel they have any traumas from your past experiences, or or if you're suffering some from some illness, go for therapy, heal yourself of disease. If you have some mental or psychological issues, go for therapy because this in the end is going to help you a lot. Why? Because if you don't go for therapy, then all this work won't mean nothing. So step number one. If you have some problems, go for therapy, go for counseling, go for therapy, help yourself, and then by doing so, you will regain your confidence, you will regain self-respect, you will regain self-esteem. So, gentlemen, you, must, you need to have confidence. Next, proper posture. Oh yes, that's a big one. That is a big one. Why? Because we all know that in every aspect of our life, in every situation, every occasion, there is a proper kind of contact. There is proper partial body postures which are acceptable for us, for both for both genders. However, there are some big differences. Some rules apply only for men, for gentlemen, and other women, and other rules, other set of rules applies only for ladies so we both have equal parts of proper posture and some differences so one line gentlemen you need to have proper posture because if you have a proper posture which I'll di dive deeply into my other follow up upcoming videos we will specifically target the the proper body posture or proper body behavior types of topics I'll dive in there deeply but let's continue let's get back to our number three proper posture gentlemen bottom line proper posture means everything why because if you present yourself if you uh, so be more specific, gentlemen. 
Proper posture means what? It starts from your know, standing, walking, sitting, etc. So you need to have proper body posture because sometimes people will judge you. Oh yes, people will judge you according to your body posture, be it or not. They will judge you. So if your body posture is closed, uninviting, or the proper or your posture represents or displays the messages of being in of being insecure, being uh, shy or fearful, I mean being afraid of your environment or or having, not having trust in others. Well, gentlemen, you need to fix that. You need to fix it because being a gentleman today, not only a gentleman, but being an average man today, from average man to especially being an average man to a gentleman, we need to have a proper body posture. That's a fact. So, if you're not sure, either look this into yourself, take some courses about your body posture training, or you can just wait until the time I will upload the video and make a topic about proper body postures for various situations. All right, let's have a little break.